Ok, aquí tengo para ustedes los tres ingredientes para hacer la solución para matar a los insectos. Las cucarachas o cien pie, lo que sea. Ok, ok, bueno. Ay, deje ver. Allá está el vinagre. Este de aquí es el vinagre. Aquí. Este es el aceite, ese de allá. Y este es el champú. Y aquí tengo el, el, la botella de spray, a donde usted va a poner los tres ingredientes. Así que es bien fácil. Usted no más que agarra media taza de vinagre blanco, ¿okay? media taza de aceite de, de vegetal y media taza de champú. O también pueden usar el, el jabón para los platos. Y usted nomás que lo pone ahí en esa botella, lo mezcla y cuando ve una cucaracha o una, un, un insecto, nomás que le, le pone el spray ahí, ¿no? Y se mueren. Pulverizando, se mueren. Lo que pasa es que los insectos, ellos tienen... ¿Cómo, cómo le explico? Ellos respiran por medio de los, uh, las patitas. Tienen unos huequitos y por eso, por, por los, las patitas se, ellos respiran. Y cuando se caminan encima del, de la... Lo, lo que los mata es la, el champú, porque el champú les tapa los huequitos y se sofocan y ahí se mueren. Y el, el aceite vegetal los atrae porque es comida. Y el vinagre también los mata porque es ácido. Así que es... Bien fácil. Pero también tengo que decirle que por favor tengan cuidado donde sea que pongan ese spray porque claro que es bien resbaloso. ¿Sí? Al momento que ustedes vean una, los insectos, les ponen el spray encima de la, del cuerpito ahí y ahí se mueren, se sofocan. Pero también yo también he visto que, por ejemplo, cuando fue a... Uh, Creo que fue hace unos días que yo vi una cucaracha y le puse... No, fue hace dos días. Vi una cucaracha, le puse el spray, el líquido, pero no murió. Se quedó ahí, como que, como que le dio un ataque, no sé, pero se quedó ahí acostado. Y, pero después de unos minutos se levantó y se corrió. Yo creo que en esos casos, yo creo que se van y... Donde sean, donde quedan, mueren ahí. Porque han pisado la, el champú, ¿no? Bueno, pero yo también he visto que las cucarachas también sí se mueren. Cuando yo les, les he echado la, el spray, sí, se mueren. Ahí se mueren. Ay, ¿qué más? Um, ¿Qué más, qué más? Yo no sé. Oh, otra cosa. He notado que cuando este, esta solución se... Cuando se... Una vez que se se seque, bien seco, se, se, come, se pone como una cosa bien tosca, es bien difícil sacarlo, así que hace, cuando fue hace dos noches, estuve haciendo, mirando por ahí por YouTube, cómo puedo aprender cómo sacar esa cosa, no cuando se, se endure, y una señora dijo que uno nomás lo que usted pone, lo que hace, se, se, haga una pasta, de vinagre, de vinagre blanco y de qué otra cosa fue, bi, bi, bicarbonato de sodio, eso fue que dijo, okay. bicarbonato de sodio y vinagre, uno se hace una pasta y ahora usted le pone ahí, ¿cómo se dice? ¿se friega? ¿friega? <risa> se friega, no sé, bueno ahí ustedes saben lo que quiero decir, tienen que darle, darle, darle hasta que se salga eso. Ok, uh, si sí, eso es lo que quería decirles a todos y ya creo que ya terminé. Y, y por, fa por favor, por favor, por favor, mucho cuidado porque es bien resbaloso. No quiero que alguien se caiga o okay, que se lastimen. Ok, bueno, ya terminé y ya voy a explicar esto en inglés. Okay, everybody, 
here I have for you the solution that I learned how to make for how to kill the cockroaches and insects okay so what you do is okay there's your vinegar right there okay you take vinegar vinegar and oil vegetable oil well I have canola oil here so yeah you use vegetable oil okay and shampoo okay there's a shampoo bottle over there that bright orange that's shampoo okay and um, okay so you take half a cup of vinegar half a cup of vegetable oil and half a cup of um, shampoo and you put it into a spray bottle like that what you see right there and you shake it well and then you spray cockroaches or any insects that you see and what happens is you see insects breathe through their feet okay and when they step on the shampoo it's the shampoo that kills them it suffocates them right so you spray the insects right and then they'll die they'll die right away but I've noticed that like two nights ago I saw a cockroach and I sprayed it and it fell because it was crawling up my one of my walls in, in my room and it fell and it just lay there for a few minutes it was really like maybe exhausted or something but after about three minutes it stood up again and it scurried away so I sprayed it again and it didn't die so I just had to kill it with my shoe and uh, but what I'm thinking is if you spray a cockroach that it will most likely die wherever it scurries off to like it'll just die eventually because it's been sprayed and you know the the, the paste like the, the shampoo is is thick right and it's going to cover its those little I forget what they're called I saw I, I heard the word on a video two nights ago about what those little holes they have in their feet are called it's I think it starts with this an S like S for Sam anyway so the shampoo will cover those little breathing holes and eventually kill them that's what I'm guessing um also I forgot to mention in the Spanish I'm gonna have to do it again in the Spanish um, translation I forgot to mention that peppermint well from what I learned peppermint essential peppermint oil not like fragrance no it's got to be the real thing essential peppermint oil guys and it's going to be it's got to be like really good quality so you know if you spend the money and it goes a long long way okay so what you do is they said that essential peppermint oil uh, insects hate the smell of peppermint oil so you take um you take a spray bottle like that and you fill it up with water just fill the whole thing with water and then you put in about between 15 to 20 drops of essential oil and I think the same thing you can also put in lavender oil I don't know what that's gonna do but they said that it's it's the peppermint oil that that uh, repels them because in order to like what the solution that I gave you guys that kills them but what you want is to repel them so yeah so just um yeah get this the essential oil for peppermint and put it in the bottle fill it up fill, fill it up with water the lady said with distilled water, but guys, I mean, water is water. Just use water. In other videos, they, people just say just use water. They don't say distilled. So just put water, okay, your tap water in the bottle, and then put about 15 to 20 drops of peppermint oil in there. And then you spray your whole, your whole home, like your house or apartment. You spray wherever, like for example, you know, the doorways. You know, yeah, you, you spray the doorways all along the entryway, like windows, wherever there's an entry where you spray it and the, this lady in this one video where I learned you know how to put together the peppermint and the, and the lavender um, she said that she's been spraying for months and months and months and she hadn't seen any insects nothing okay so but I there's this guys I have a spray bottle I have like this one spray bottle that I cannot find that I really need because we have the I want to do the um, the solution with the water and the peppermint oil but I can't find my extra spray bottle so I also learned um, actually in 2017 I learned how to do this in 2017 okay this this mixture here in 2017 because I was doing indoor gardening okay but 
for the um, the essential oil, I couldn't do it. Well, I never got around to buying another spray bottle, so anyway, I just did this. Anyway, I they said that you can also apply the peppermint oil directly onto a piece of cotton, and that should keep the insects away. And I did that. I didn't see any insects, but we did have a, oh, uh, what was it? A gnat problem. So I don't know if peppermint, if gnats are bothered by, by peppermint, I don't know. But the problem was that these gnats, they had come in one of my, the plants that my mother brought from a grocery store and they were already living underneath the basil, a basil plant. And I overwatered, and I learned that when you overwater a basil plant, the, the, that has, um, or any plant that has gnat larvae or whatever, it's gonna, they're gonna come, like, and grow a lot, right? Like, they're gonna produce a lot. So we had an infestation of gnats, and we just had to get rid of all the plants, because the, um, the peppermint wasn't doing anything. And I did a solution that killed the gnats, but that's like once they were already born, they were attracted to the water. I just put water and soap in a cup. I mean, in some containers, like um, peanut butter jar caps, like the lids. And the gnats were drawn to the soap, to the water. They were drawn to the water and they got trapped in there because the soap created a ten, you know, tension, on the, like a surface tension. And they were, they were trapped in the water and they drowned. So that in one way that solution really worked but it did nothing to stop the the production of all those larvae or whatever anyway so back over oops i just stepped on something okay i just stepped on what did i step on okay i stepped on a power cord um back over here okay so this is the cotton that i have where i placed the peppermint essential oil in yeah, and there was like a cockroach crawling on this little night table here. So, um, I don't know, guys. I don't know, maybe, because this is the only place where I placed it. So, the, the lady said you're supposed to spray your whole home to keep them from coming, those cockroaches. So, yeah, so maybe that's what I'll do. Anyway, um, yeah. Okay, so I think I'm finished, guys. Yep, 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 and I'm gonna go now. So I'm hoping you guys will try this out, and then you guys tell me what you, what results you have, and what results you got. Okay, so you let me know. And if you're gonna try out the essential oil, well, I was talking about this this solution here. Try it out and see what you guys think. You know, and then if um, if you guys want to try out the essential oil, right, then do that. Okay, so make make sure like you just get a large bottle i mean if you can't get a large bottle you can get a small one but just make sure to fill it up with water and then put in 15 to 20 drops of oil peppermint oil and um yeah the lady that um that she was talking about the peppermint oil she said she added another oil i forget which one it is but she said that that one was it calmed down like it reduced the, the aroma, the very strong aroma of the peppermint because peppermint is really powerful. Guys, essential oil, all you need is one drop and your whole house will, like, you can smell your whole house like that, just one drop. So that's why you have to be really careful with how much you use it. And, like, essential oils are really expensive, but it's very, very worth the purchase because, I mean, I, I believe what the lady said. I mean, it works. That's She says that... She tried it, she sprayed her whole house, and she hasn't seen any insects for months and months and months, so I believe her. And so that's why I'm saying it's really worth buying essential oils because it's, just, it's like if all you have to use is 15 to 20 drops and you get a lot, the bottle is small, but you, you still like it goes a long way. It goes a long, long way. And you can buy like different sizes or whatever, but no matter what size, it just it goes a long way. Okay, guys, I'm going to go now. Let me know what happened to you guys and your experiment experiments. Okay, all right, bye.